Hello everybody and welcome to this edition of the Sunday Sauce. Uh, it's a video where I just do a little devotional on uh, God's Word. Um, so if this is not your type of video, then that's fine. Just go ahead and click off. Uh, other than that, um, I hope you enjoy this video for those that stick around. Um, this one is going to be on patience. Now, I know, be patient, it's coming, okay? <laughs> so, we've got, uh, it's a hard topic for me, I'm not a patient person. Uh, I think many people in today's society are not patient, they want instant gratification. Uh, you know, the, the quick uh, drive-through scenario where you want it now, you know? So, and that's the way it is with a lot of things in our lives right now. We, we lack a lot of patience, I believe. And uh, patience is one of the fruits of of God that we, we want to try and emulate the best that we can. Um, you see this patience a lot in relationships, that sort of thing, where, you know, it's just uh, one of those things where it affects relationships, both, uh, you know, with friends, family, uh, husband, wife, whatever it may be uh, that your relationship is in. It really does affect that relationship. So. It's something that is continually, I know I have to work on. Um, and I think, I think most people do. I think at some point in, in, in their lives, you know, we have to ask God to give us patience. He's been wanting to give us that patience all along if we just ask for it. Um, I think um, a good example in the Bible um, is uh, the parable of the unmerciful servant, which is in Matthew 18... Uh, 21 through 35, 21 through 35, it's titled The Parable of the Unmerciful Servant. Um, so, and I get a lot of this content, everyone, I don't want you to think, um, you know, I do make a lot of it up, but I kind of put my own twist to everything. But I love these little books, it's kind of like where I get the ideas from. In the in the dollar tree, it happened for quite some time, it's The Nine Fruits of the Spirit. You know, there's like patience, you know, joy, and there's, you know, nine, nine of them, you know, obviously. So it's just kind of neat to, to read in those books, and they've got little questions and answers where you can uh, answer the questions and things like that. So it's pretty neat. So let me go ahead and read this parable of the unmerciful servant uh, it's out of the NIV. Uh, version of the Bible. Okay, it reads, Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? And he says, Up to seven times. But Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had sold to repay the debt. The servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him and canceled the debt and let him go. But when the servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. But his fellow servant, but his, his fellow servant fell to his knee and begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back your debt. <clears throat> when the other servants saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed. And he went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant and, you wicked servant, I cancel all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master turned him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. In anger, his master turned him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brothers from your heart. So, it's a good uh, parable of the master who forgave all he did, and then that person that just got forgiven didn't forgive, you know, his servant 
over there. So I think it's a, a, a good point to us that you know, God forgives us uh, and is merciful with us from all of our sins. Um, so therefore we should be merciful uh, and forgive the people around us as well. Um, you know, not, not seven times, but 77 times, which basically means over and over and over again, we should forgive. We need to forgive, 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 and be patient with people. Um, it takes time uh, for people to change. It takes time sometimes for uh, things to happen, you know, it's in God's time. So I, I think that's a great little parable to go by for patience. And um, there's not much else that can really be said there. There's, there's tons of stuff on patience, but I think that puts it to light um, succinctly, quickly. Um, and that is just simply be patient with others as God is patient with you. That's what I take out of this. Um, and be forgiving, which is part of patience. Um, so with that being said, I hope you all just are having a great day. And I hope your week ahead is a wonderful one as well. So take care all.